NE8000 basic setup. Syringe 1 200, also known as the NE8000 basic setup. Begin by plugging your power supply to the wall power. or a power strip. If you are using a power strip, make sure the power strip is turned on. Plug your power supply into the back of the pump, round connector, and then turn on the pump by pressing the switch. You will hear a beep. That means the pump's power is turned on. The display will be blinking and the LEDs will be lit. Press any key to stop the display from blinking. Any 8000 programming the pump. To program the pump, first enter the syringe diameter. Press the diameter key. It will display the currently selected diameter, 14.43 millimeters. This is the factory default. To change, use the up arrow keys to increment individual digits above each key. To set the decimal point, simultaneously press the two up arrow keys under where you want the decimal point to be. Press it again to clear the decimal point. The syringe loaded has a diameter 29.2. You can find this information in the user manual. Press and hold the key to quickly increment the digits. When entered, the display will blink and the LED will stop blinking. Any 8000 set the rate of infusion. To set the rate of infusion, press the rate key. The currently stored rate is 200 ml per hour. To change the units of the flow rate, press the rate key again. The display will show UNTS with the LEDs blinking. You can only change the setting while the LEDs are blinking. Use any up arrow key to change the units. That's ML per hour, microliters per hour, ML per minute, ML per hour. We can set the infusion rate by changing the numbers here. When it blinks, it is entered. Press the volume key to show the volume target, off indicating continuous pumping. Press the volume keys to set a volume target. Pressing the volume key again shows the volume dispensed. While zero, you could change the units used by the pump from ml to microliters. We will pump in ml. With continuous pumping off, any 8000 included with the pump. Included with the any 8000 is a vial of grease and connectors. The grease is used for lubricating the guide rods and lead screw. Also included are adapters, screws, and spaces for specialized syringes such as stainless steel syringes that need a wider gap. Remove and replace screws. Any 8000 loading the syringe. To install the syringe, put it on the syringe holder. The pusher block is moved by using the purge function. Press and hold to go forward or reverse. Release to stop. Loosen the bracket for the flanges. 
This is the anti-siphon bracket. Position the flanges between the bracket and the syringe holder. Insert the syringe. Secure the syringe by moving the syringe clamp into place and tighten bracket by turning the two thumb screws. Make sure that the anti-siphon bracket is secure by turning the screw counterclockwise. Now the syringe is ready. Any 8000 setting limit switches. At the rear of the pump are the limit switches. Turn the screws to loosen for adjustment. Limit switches limit the travel of the pump and can be used in programs to stop the pump at certain points while changing directions. Position them and tighten into place. Any 8000 force limit adjustment. At the front is a force limit adjustment. Turn the knob to change the force. Turn towards plus for higher force. To limit force, turn towards minus. Any 8000 connect and purge tubing. Connect your tubing to the syringe. Begin by purging the syringe. Make sure your direction is set for infusion. Press and hold the start key until you see PURG in the display. The pusher block will move. Once filled, remove your finger from the pump. Any 8000 starting the pump. Ready for operation. To start your pumping program, simply press release the start key. Now the pump is pumping. The pump will continue to pump continuously until you stop the pump. To stop the pump, press start again. Blinking indicates the program is paused and will continue where it left off when you press start again. If the pump hits the limit switch, it will stop automatically.